Willy Wonka has got to be one of the strangest characters ever created, but what is he truly dealing with behind his ecstatic attitude? Both versions of Willy Wonka have the following traits, ecstatic, talkative, hyper, smart, odd, speaks strangely, enthusiastic, nice, careless, depressed, moody, finds fun in weird things, delusional by thinking bad kids deserve to endure physical harm, and frightened. That's a lot of traits. Some of them are just emotions he shows more than often, but some are more than that. When the children are getting hurt, Wonka will just sit there and do nothing. In fact, during most of his time as a tour guide, he really doesn't do much. It's like he's a dazed robot or something. It's my believing that he is chronically apathetic. Apathy is a feeling you get when you feel no emotion. On Plechik's wheel of emotions, it sits in the middle, because it isn't an emotion. In this state, you have no feeling of concern, worry, motivation, passion, or interest. It's basically the emotion of carelessness, if it were an emotion at all. But just because he's more apathetic than most, doesn't mean that's all he's dealing with. In the Tim Burton version, we get his backstory. His father treated him poorly. Growing up without a life he dreamed of until running away could have built up to depression. In the original version, we see him constantly changing mood. If you don't know what that is, it's called bipolar disorder. Just look at the end when he has a spastic freakout and then has a happy turnaround within seconds. This is the epitome of bipolar. We can now successfully say that Willy Wonka is chronically apathetic. Tim Burton's version has a chronically apathetic yet depressed Willy Wonka, and the original has a chronically apathetic yet bipolar Willy Wonka. This is what Willy Wonka has to deal with, and by following his passion, he has kept it at bay. And yes, he can still be passionate, just not when he's apathetic. Please like, comment and subscribe.